Hello and welcome back to our KSP career with me and we are launching this beautiful rocket which is a relay or actually a set of two relays that will be going to Duna. Yes, <coughs> previous landing on EVE which where we will have been landing the uh, the lander craft has revealed that if I only have one relay satellite it can get on the other side of the planet and cause blackouts and whatnot. So, and the other craft that were in the orbit weren't exactly relays because they didn't have the relay antennas on board. So, to prevent the same thing happening on Duna, I have lovingly crafted and launched a ship that contains not one but two small relay satellites. And the mission for those two relay satellites will be simple. It will be to actually relay the communications going from the small lander that will be in orbit onwards to the big relay that is supposed to be sending things from Duna back to Kerbin. So yeah, two relay relays if you want to call them that. Uh, this is 1.875 uh, diameter fairing and everything and we are just ascending until we reach the usual 100 kilometer apoapsis at which points we're gonna circularize and then immediately ship it off to Duna because the launch window is upon us. I was actually struggling to try and get this uh, craft built while we are still within the Duna's window. By the way guys, for those of you who are my faithful viewers and watchers know that at the end of this episode, in the top right corner, I will on the end screen provide a link to the episode how I built it. So. It will air anyway, but for those of you who are, you know, eager and watching all the way to the end, this is my way of saying thank you for watching all the way to the end, and you will be getting a link to an yet unpublished episode of the building this magnificent craft. So, stick around all the way and you'll get an extra episode. Hope you like it. Alright, we are getting into the Kerbin's well, orbit. And the most of it will be on this stage, but a tiny portion will be also handled by the transfer stage, which is this beautiful craft. Look at it go. Oh, I just love this engine. Ah, it looks so amazing. There we go. Awesome! And we are orbital. See? Nothing to it. Now, we have opened the solar panels and everything, and now it's a matter of time of finding the correct Duna transfer window. So, and that's the one within 12 days, but the one within 12 days is actually a little bit too far off. So, let's try, and if we get, let's say, 16, so I put something like here. Oh, it's already in the past. Oh, okay, then let's put something here. No, it's also in the past. Okay, so day 20, maybe? If I place it here, when will it happen? That's kind of funny. You add alarm. Okay, 30, second, 30 minutes in the past. I'm going to take that one, actually. So I'm going to show the eject angle. By the way, the mod that I'm playing here with is the transfer window planner from Trigger AU. And no, it is not 1.12 version, it's 1.8, but it still works with, uh, you know, Kerbal Alarm Clock and everything as it should, so no harm, no foul. Okay, let's add the maneuver node. What I do like about it is that it tells me exactly where I should be placing my maneuver node if I, and how much I should be placing in order to secure the Duna encounter. However, when you place it, you will not get exact encounter. You will be coming very, very close. So this actually saves a lot of fiddlage because when you come to a lot of fiddlage it's kind of get, it gets a little bit tedious if you're trying to plan it and if you're also not good at it i mean it can it can it can you know drag your energy down and that's really not the point we want to enjoy doing cool transfers shipping to and off planets and whatnot rather than just you know sitting on and mumbling about stuff so <clears throat> yeah and then i go about mumbling and i mumble a lot sorry all right, so close alarm and let's get ready for the ejection burn. Pointing the craft maneuver, I almost said manure prograde, but manure prograde would be right into the cow dunk, so that would probably not be a good idea. So yeah, we want to go maneuver prograde. All right, 
<clears throat> a total maneuver will take 1465 meters per second of our total 3.4 so we should have more than enough also to decelerate around duna and insert these satellites into the duna orbit however you never know what can happen i mean you saw what happened with our dress probe it just started and for some reason it never got into the orbit because it miscalculated my nerva delta v but that's why I'm actually not using Nerva at the moment. By the way, is those of you guys who have seen it, do you have any idea as what happened? I was using probably the wrong equation for calculation. That can happen. Anyway, as we burn gently to eject ourselves from the Kerbin Sphere of Influence, it's a lengthy burn. It's 1 minute and 14 seconds. Uh, let's just briefly discuss what's coming. So. Once this launches, then it will be in the transfers, and I'm hoping that my fleet of Duna ships will be coming there. The next one is also Jewel, you know, Relay Explorer that's supposed to be coming. The Plock mission is on its 39-year mission to Plock, and I have been adding a couple more transfer windows just to make sure that we have more interesting missions coming up while these are in transfer. Also... <coughs> The science that we will be that we have collected from the previous episodes around Eve and everything have provided us with enough science points to unlock the very heavy rocketry, which will, in terms, have some starship components or lovingly known as Gojira in the um, in the um, what's the SpaceX name Tundra Industries. Yes, that one. So there will be some belly flops coming real soon. I've already recorded <clears throat> the episode for it. And trust me, some of it can get really, really funny. So, all right, as we plan our transfer, we're just doing a tiny correction that will be setting us up for the Kerbal ejection. There we go. And let's see, what do we have here? I'm going to add a maneuver node, which I'm going to queue up just so I know when it's up. All right, good. It's 148 days. Or 326 days, actually. Well, <clears throat> never mind. Let us just enjoy and appreciate as this probe leaves the Kerbin's sphere of influence. And don't forget, guys... I did promise you that you guys will be getting a build episode. So at the end of this episode, point to the top right corner where the link to that one will be and do boop the like button because it helps me out a great deal and tells the YouTube algorithm that more people should be watching these videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is Grumforks signing off.